guys. Archie Luxury here. Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury Paul Pruder channel. Today I'm doing some paid reviews because I know how much you love them and I, I need the loot. I need the cash because these are paid reviews. They're not free reviews. They're paid. See guys, men cannot live on Google Ads alone and very generous audience members pay me to review their collection and uh <coughs> it's it's so cool so remember like subscribe tell your friends look in the description 10 ways you can help me <coughs> maybe you could sponsor me on patreon patreon means you could send a couple bucks each month to keep me full time quick whist watch check awc ng okay the first one i'm going to do is for ben now ben sent me this picture Huge picture, and the text is the size of a midget's, midget's Bible. Okay, hope this finds you well. My current collection, collection consists of the image detached. I have based my collection on cornerstones of each brand. Models I feel represent the brand as a whole, and ones I would probably personally wear. Please don't use my last name for obvious reasons. I'm 39 years old and work in industrial construction as a project manager and actually I work for a living in no particular order. Here we go. Rolex Explorer 2. 42 mil. Yes, 42 mil. For the only true reissue or tribute Rolex has ever done. Referencing the original 1655. That's the plastic sapphire. 1972 release one uh, Explorer orange hand the previous 40 mil model is in my opinion is just a white or black GMT without the rotating bezel Nothing wrong with that, but nothing wrong with that Rolex as a whole is a lot diff uh, is a lot of different versions of the original Explorer Oyster case with or without the rotating bezel the only real difference uh, only real different one being the Sea Dweller. This model to me represents the best form of what Rolex is. Okay, great. Explorer 2 is a great watch. Can't criticize it. I love me 40 mil. I've got the 40 mil. Love it because I don't buy new. Don't buy new. Like to buy second hand. And uh, the 42 mils were too dear at the time. Next, he's got an. Omega Speedmaster, Man on the Moon, Needs No Introduction, Iconic, Rugged, Timeless Design, and a Piece of Horology in its own right. Yes, that's gorgeous. I mean, everyone needs an Omega Speedmaster, Man on the Moon. Now, this is where it gets a bit interesting. Seiko SVDX01, Emperor Tuna, Grand Seiko Movement, 1,000 Meter Diver, represents what Seiko does best. And they owe their success to models like this. A modern version of their first automatic tuna diver. Not as fashionable, but easily, arguably, a better dive than the subby. Wouldn't wear a subby as every person who thinks they are somebody wears one. Yep, that's so true. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting Seiko there. Now we're getting into nasty stuff. Seiko Master of G, Golf Meister, Big G-Shock, everyone must have at least one. Has all technology Casio is capable of in a G-Shock case, with exception of Bluetooth, altimeter, barometer, compass, depth gauge, solar power, atomic time, etc. Okie dokie, yep, I don't like it, don't like it. And then you got the Nixon Zilla Metic. Yes, it's a stainless fashion piece. Yes, it's high-grade ETA. Ooh, don't know about that. It's 44 mil, but it's a piece that I have had more compliments and questions about compared to any watch I've ever owned. Last spot on the box, a Reverso Grand. Not sure which one, but will acquire sometime in my 40s. On the wrist, a Tudor North Flag. Just got it and think it's a very unique and cool thing. Tudor is also a great brand with more cool things to come, I believe. They're really hick hitting the hipster market. I think they're they're almost they're pushing it too hard. They're you know, it makes it too obvious. 
If I could only have one watch, it would easily be the 42mm Explorer 2. Checks all the boxes in a perfect package. Discussion on shitters. Not all shitters are created equal. I believe that one man's shitter is another man's grail. And to a certain extent, some shitters are to be respected in their own context. For example, a brand, a brand I love is Oris. They aren't a fashion boutique brand. They build a quality watch. They're semi-affordable. And they are moving in the right direction with their new caliber 111. Manual wide, 10-day power reserve, in-house movement. I see awesome things coming from them in the future. Anyway, feel free to expand on the above topic and 40 US coming your way. Hopefully you can stay on the tube and keep us informed and entertained. Best of luck. Wear them all in good health. Ben. Thank you, Ben. Ben, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, the Nixon threw me. The Nixon really threw me off there. I thought, ooh, that's, uh, but now that you've explained the story to me, okay, I, I, <laughs> I actually don't mind this kind of, uh, collection of, uh, cool pieces. Um, you know, the thing is, um, I gotta be honest with you there. Gotta be honest. Gotta be honest. Um, the Explorer 2, 42 mil. I'm actually warming to it. I actually do feel it is a cool, cool watch. It's a cool watch. Uh, Explorer 2, it's a great watch. Great watch. Great watch. The, um, Speedmaster Man on the Moon, it's classic. It's iconic. I mean, you've got a black face and you've got a, you've got the black face on the Speedy and you've got the white face on the Explorer. Life's good. They're both 42 mil size watches. Uh, although the Explorer 2 is girthier, it gives that more bigger impression there. Iconic. They're, be they're beautiful. I think those are two really cool watches. Um, I gotta say, the Seiko, Emperor Tuna. I'll let you. I'll let it sneak in. I'll let it sneak in. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's okay. Thousand meter diver. That's <laughs> that's cool. I like how you got all this stuff in there. You, you you know what I mean? It's like going into a garage of a rich person, and they got a Mercedes. They got a BMW. They got a Porsche. Uh, they got a Volkswagen Golf. They got a um, a Toyota Corolla. You know, it's a bit of a mix, a homogeny of, of stuff there, which, hey, it's cool enough, I, I, I must admit. you got two really decent watches there. you got the, uh, you've got the uh, Explorer 2 and you've got the, the Speedy, the Speedy. Uh, I, I agree with you. Uh, you also on the wrist, you've got the Tudor North Flag. Great watch. Tudor North Flag is a great watch. Beautiful, 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 beautiful piece. Beautiful. I mean, how can you criticize that? The only thing that's worrying me is you might be paying a bit much. I don't like the way you're, you're steering towards new sort of pieces. That's a bit on the dangerous side there. Um, I would really say um, I got to... I, I would really say, I would really say, um, man, I would tell you the honest truth, I think you've got to, you've got to, I, I like, the, I like it, I like the mix, it's got shitters in it, normally I hate shitters in a, in a good box there, but <coughs> I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it, I actually like how this is done. And uh, you can pull this off, man. This is this is cool. I I, I really do like it. The Nixon, ooh, that's pushing it. Now you're pushing the friendship. I understand the G-Shock because you know it's very much a tool work watch. The Seiko, it's a great thousand meter diver. Uh, the Explorer, yep. The Speedy, yep. But the Nixon, man, I think the Nixon needs to. Nixon needs to go, okay? <coughs> it just does. It's it's just not it's just not cool. Okay, I'm sorry, I gotta tell you the truth. I don't approve of the Nixon. 
Um, now you're saying last spot on the box, a Reverso Grand. Not sure which one, but will acquire sometimes in my 40s. Yeah, I reckon that would be superb. Absolute. I mean, if you think about it, look at that. That combo, the three-piece meal deal combo. Reverso, Speedmaster, and Explorer 2. Three-piece combo deal. That's pretty cool. I gotta tell that's that's that that is three really cool pieces. Very very cool, very cool, very very cool, very very cool. So <coughs> I gotta tell you, gotta tell you, um, I like the collection. I really do. I really do like it. What else would I do? I don't think I'd do anything else. <clears throat> the only thing I'd say to you is, man, don't 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 panic too much about getting them too big. You don't want to have too many of these things. They're expensive to service. How many watches do you really need? Less is more. Uh, I I I actually I got to be honest. I look at this picture, man. I I it, it pops. It pops. It's only a you know. I mean I mean I mean I got some I got some great. I got a Patek. But your collection there with that forty two mil just got the nice balance. It's like a pizza. You don't want too much topping on it. You'll overdo it. You'll overdo the senses. Whereas, you know, this is this is working. I really do love the collection. And the shit is I I I, I understand okay, I, 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 I don't I don't really approve of what you're saying there. Not shit all shit is a cra I think most people can get really if they buy the wrong shitter, you're gonna really do badly. You buy Squally, you will really do your ass. You buy Nixon, that's not a great brand. Uh, the Seiko is great. Seiko is great. The G-Shock is a very much a usable, very usable, amazing bang per buck. So, very interesting content. Well, look, I I love your collection. I love it. It works. Uh, good luck on 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 your. I like the way it's progressing slowly. It's not just a. It's not just like a. It's not just like uh, you've got to be done instantly. You, it, but you, you you build it. You build it. So uh, thank you so much for sharing that. I'm Archibald Chesterfield the third. Remember, like, subscribe, tell your friends, keep the viewers coming, and uh, remember, less is more. Don't add. Don't have to have everything instantly, quickly, quickly, quickly. Beautiful collection, Speedy Explorer Two. You got the Tudor. Life is good. Life is good, man. Archie Luxury signing out. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.